Aquarius. Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm your host, Tina. Today I'm doing your upcoming tarot. This one will be for the 9th to the 15th. Now, as always for my readings, time is more fluid. The most important thing is that the reading resonates. So if it does, just please trust that it is for you. Let's go ahead and give these cards a few shuffles, see what's happening for you this week. All right, Aquarius. Ten of Cups is at the bottom. All right, I am going to pull, I'm expanding my readings a little bit. I do want to pull a card from the recent past as well as the overall energy. But we got a card of reconciliation here, celebration maybe, um, coming together here with other people. You and other people this week, that is definitely the situation this week. Um, and you're wanting to take the lead here. But it, it does feel like reconciliation. Reconciliation. All right. A reunion. Because something, something broke apart here. All right, let's see what's in the recent past and the overall energy. All right. Recent past, we have the world. Overall energy, page of pentacles. All right, exploring some new reality. That's the overall energy. A chapter here has closed. Again, it can be with these people. Three of Cups is the situation. I mean, this is usually a card of celebration, reconciliation, but it's you and other people. You and other people, that's the situation, but this is your tribe. That's who these people are. These are the people you call to celebrate with. The shoulders that you cry on, you know, that that's those people. But something here was not right, because in the challenge position, we have the Seven of Swords, you know. This is like sabotage. It, it's just like, um, it. you know, I'm going to just tell you all the energies that come with it, but it's also like sneaky, shady behavior behind your back, right? Like, that's the challenge. It's like maybe somebody didn't tell you the whole story here. We got a lot of mental activity as well, let me just mention. Um, but yeah, there's there's a card of like people just not being like lying, deceitful, uh, shady type of energy. Um, but, you know, and for some of you, the Seven of Swords is just you're not happy with the situation and you need a strategy to get out of it. Maybe you need to cut your losses with that Seven of Swords. We're going to pull more cards to get a better and deeper understanding. King of Wands is on your mind, right? This is about taking action and taking the lead. That's what you're focused on. You know, and the King of Wands is very visionary, like willing to even step out of your comfort zone, right? That's what visionary is. It's like out of the box type of ideas, um, but definitely ready to take action here. And then your approach is the Queen of Swords. Like she's, you know, she's known as the divorced lady. Um, the Queen of Swords is about cutting stuff out that are no longer serving you and making head over heart decisions. That's the Queen of Swords. It's like she's icy. She's cold, you know. Um, it's that kind of very logical, very rational. In the environment here, we have the Devil. Um, can be a Capricorn. It could just be as simple as that here. can absolutely be a Capricorn. If it's not a Capricorn, then the Devil is basically putting light. But you're putting light on something here in the environment that you know is holding you back. You know, you know it's been negative. You know it's been toxic. That's the devil. It's those in, invisible chains that have a hold on us. And they just don't allow us to be our best selves. But now you're like, there's an awareness when it comes to it. That's what it is. And then coming towards you is the five of swords. You know, it's a, it's, um, it can be inner conflict, but it can definitely be a conflict because I see other people as a situation. So I'm definitely feeling like it's a conflict with others. Um, it could quite literally be an argument. You know, one where people just say like, things that cut, things that slice, you know, and nobody really walks away a winner. And it's usually a fight with loved ones. All right, let's let's clarify the world in the recent past here. Some a chapter here has closed out for you, Aquarius. Um, what's this world? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Can't make it up. What's at the bottom is the Three of Cups, right? Yeah. Ah, the Wheel of Fortune is here. Strength is here. Oof. Oof. Okay, cycles have closed out. Like, a major chapter here has closed out. What can I say? It's it's is major chapter here has closed out. Wheel of Fortune, for me, though, is always a positive sign that what was down will come up. And the Wheel of Fortune is, is a card of fate. It's a card of destiny. Meaning, when the Wheel of Fortune appears, there's nothing you could do about it. It is what it is. The cycle's closed out. You cannot change that. There's like, literally, it's best to just accept it. But it was hard for you. 
it was hard for you to accept it with strength being here. It was very hard for you to accept it. Maybe some of you with a Leo, I don't know. Um, but I, I just feel like it was just very hard to like come to terms with this chapter closing out here. But you know what the wheel of fortune it is what it is you cannot stop that wheel from turning it's just for me it's that simple it's out of our hands it's out of our hands when the wheel's turning it's turning and and there's no force in this world that can stop it because it's what's supposed to happen now all right situation is the three of cups so let's go ahead and clarify that and then again at the bottom we had the three of cups so i can't help but think it's you with some other people some tribe here, some situation here. All right, what's this Three of Cups, Aquarius? Okay, we'll take it. Four of Cups, Four of Cups, Page of Pentacles. That's the overall energy anyway. Yeah, you're over it. You're definitely, like, it's so interesting. Like, literally, it's so interesting. Like, if you look at the Four of Cups, you got this person looking at the Three Cups in front of them. And just like not being satisfied with it, not happy with it, like just over it. You're not motivated, you're not excited by it, nothing. To the point that you're really looking in a new direction. You're really open to a new direction and a new reality here. I'm not saying that you're going away from them. I just know that whatever, however it is, you're just over it this week. Um, definitely not excited by it. Definitely not liking what's in front of you. You don't like what you're seeing right now. And, and because you're maybe looking at that, you might you might be missing other opportunities. So you can see there's a cloud, there's a hand from the clouds trying to come through and offer you something. But like you're just looking at what's in front of you and you're like, ugh, I don't like it. Eh, I'm over it, you know. To the point that it's pushed you in a new direction, like you're totally entertaining a new direction here. That's, that's what it's done. In the challenge position, we have the Seven of Swords. So let's see. I mean, for me, it just feels like maybe cutting your losses. Um, I'm going to take the page of wands because it fell out. So let me give this a shuffle. Being open. And, and also being um, having the will to actually take steps in this new direction with the page of wands. It's a very explorative um, energy. Oh, God. And obviously, we're not taking half the deck here. So let me go ahead and just grab these. Let me see. We got the hangman. Oh. Four of Wands, Seven of Wands, Five of Wands, the Star, the Seven of Pentacles. Oh my God, it's still pretty. It's like surrendering to a situation here because it is what it is. It is what it is. You can't, you can't stop the wheel from turning. And changes are coming. Changes are coming. All right. Page of Cups. Remain open. Remain open is all I can say. Because you know the Four of Cups is like. I don't, I don't want anything. I'm not happy with it. Right? Literally, it's that kind of energy. And in the challenge position, I just feel like we got to remain open. You got to keep an open heart and open mind here. That's what it feels like. Um, just remain open is, is all I can say. In your approach is the king of wands. So let me see here. What's the king of wands? I mean, in, in your focus, excuse me. In your focus, what's this king of wands? No. All right. Aquarius, what are you doing to me? I blame you. <laughs> Let me see. Obviously, no. I don't know why. This, you're like my eighth reading, and it's happening now. I just feel like there's a lot of energy then coming through from you guys. Um, maybe it's hard to remain focused. Yeah, the devil shows up. Oh, God. All right. Let's see. Let me see. Let's try this again. All right. King of Wands in your focus. Oh, my God. I'm going to stop here. <laughs> Three of Swords is at the bottom. Eight of Wands and the world. Yeah. Yeah, you're looking in a new direction. Three of Swords. You're tired of this pain. Whatever that heartbreak was, you just, you're over it. You're over it, Aquarius. That being said, with the Eight of Wands, is you're ready to take massive action. That's what your focus is. You're like, I'm ready to move, move, move. And then the world is here. It's because, you know, chapter here is closed. The world is major. It's a major chapter that's closed. And you know it. You know, for me, the world is graduation day. 
Why do you graduate from a situation? Because there's no growth left for you. You've outgrown it. You have outgrown it and you know it. That's where your focus is. You're like, it's time to move. This chapter's closed. It's time to make moves. That's where your focus is. It's like you know that you've outgrown it. You're like, there's nothing left here for me. I've, I've overcome the challenges. I've learned my lessons. There's literally no growth for me here. Yeah. And then that being said, your approach is the Queen of Swords. This is ready to, again, cut stuff out. Because... And, and the Queen of Swords, like, finds what's wrong at its root. And you'll uproot it, literally, from the root. Just extinguish it and restore balance. So you're not looking at superficial problems. You're going straight to the root cause. All right. Let me give these a few more shuffles. Let's clarify the Queen of Swords and your approach. So with where you were focused and stuff, the cards just flew. And the Eight of Wands is such a high energy card. Yeah. <laughs> I stop and what do we have? Queen of Swords at the bottom. Okay. Clarifying the Queen of Swords, we have the Three of Wands and the Hierophant. You're, you're devoted. You're devoted to cutting stuff out. You're committed. That's it. Um, you got a very committed energy when it comes to restoring your inner peace, restoring your inner balance here. And the Three of Wands, just like the King of Wands, I feel like you're ready to step out of your comfort zone here. You're entertaining a new reality, a new direction here. You're, you're, you're open to it. You're definitely open to exploring it, but you are committed and you are devoted to restoring order here. That's it. You are, there's very much you taking the lead here and again, making head over heart decisions. Maybe you're waiting with the Three of Wands to do so. Maybe you're waiting for the right time to do so. You know, because um, even the Eight of Wands is like striking while the iron is hot and that's where your focus is. So some of you might just be waiting for the right time to do this, to do the necessary thing that you have to do. And even if it hurts somebody, you're like, well, I got to do what I got to do. But you're committed to it. You're committed to this. That's it. That's your approach. It's being cold if you have to be cold because you got to do what you have to do. All right, in the environment, let's see what the devil is. What's this devil energy in the environment? Maybe it's connected to this, you know, group dynamic with the Three of Cups. What's the devil in the environment? All right. Clarifying the devil, we get the seven of pentacles and the high priestess. Yeah. I mean, you can be a cancer here as well, but you're 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 definitely reevaluating things here. You're definitely reevaluating things here. If you haven't already completely reevaluated them. Because you know there's an area here that and you've used your intuition. I mean, this is uh, this is a deep understanding within you, right? You've listened to the inner voice here in your environment. So you didn't come to this just logically, just rationally, just emotionally. Like, you really went in for this one. And with that, like, I feel like you know there's an area here that you don't want to invest in anymore. You're not going to put your time and energy, none of your resources, not your love, not your time, not your energy, none of that. Not your money, none of that into this situation because you just feel like it's it's negative at this point. It's toxic, you know, it's just maybe it has some kind of hold over you and you're just, you're aware of it now. And again, you, you have this deep understanding. You, you've been guided by your gut. Coming towards you is the Five of Swords. So let's see. What's this Five of Swords about? I mean, it is what it is with that Wheel of Fortune. But you're devoted to cutting these things out. Definitely not liking what's in front of you. Mm. All right. Okay, we'll take you. Ah, six of cups, hoo, hoo, hoo. four of pentacles, yeah, there is a, it just feels like a fight with somebody from the past, and it's got you guys both, or more than two maybe, who knows, but it's got you all guarded, all of you now protecting yourselves, all of you now not feeling safe with each other, right? It's that kind of energy that's coming towards you, and this used to be a situation with the six of cups, man. That like, I feel like you guys also have a lot of great memories. You really do with that Six of Cups. But something, some behavior here wasn't good. Something, something went wrong here. Only you guys know your story, but like, there was also a lot of sweetness and a lot of happiness in the past. A lot, like you, you'll look back and there's still good memories. That's the truth. 
That's the truth. And it could be causing inner conflict with you. You know, maybe you're not fighting with them and maybe those memories make you feel conflicted, right? But there's also an element of like, there's, there's not openness, right? Like with each other. No, it's feeling like I got to guard myself. I need to protect myself. And that's not healthy in a relationship. You know, it's really not. And, and I think you're aware of it. That's why in your environment, it's got you really reevaluating things. And on your mind, you know a chapter here has closed. That's why you're committed to having to do what you need to do, Aquarius. All right, um, I'm going to leave it there for you. I do hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit like, hit subscribe. As always, thank you so much, Aquarius, for letting me tune into your energies. I'll see you all next week.